What you guys got another video here for you now if you're running Windows 10 version 2004 which is the Windows 10 latest release then you'll be pleased to know that Microsoft have released a major community update uh, for that uh, version of Windows 10 now there's been massive amounts of problems with it even though some people say there isn't there is but let's go ahead and check first so type winver inside your search box here this will open up your little box here that tells you about your windows and if you are running version 2004 then you are running the latest version of windows 10 and this update will be rolled out automatically uh, on tuesday patch tuesday but this is going to be the update if you want to get it now you can click on check for updates and windows 10 Will automatically go out and start to check for Windows 10 updates that have been released now it may not show you that the update is released here this is for July 31st 2020 and the update will be KB4568831 uh, and that is the release that you need so when you see this page here you'll probably see that nothing has come up but you need to view the optional updates and these are listed here just click on this here and this will automatically be rolled out to you on Tuesday but you can see here if you want to get it now which I'd advise you to do because it does fix a lot of known issues with this release of Windows 10 you can put the tick in here download and install that latest version if you are running uh, Windows 10 2004 this will fix a lot of problems which are known uh, to that version of Windows 10 if you're on the older versions like Windows 10 1909 or 1903 then you're okay you should see here Microsoft updates catalog you can also get it from here as well and download it manually if you want to and install that on your system this does fix and resolve many problems let me show you some of the problems that Windows 10 2004 does have and has been resolved so you can see here from July 31st 2020 uh, this update has patched and fixed a ton of problems as you can see here this is the actual update we've just updated now a lot of these problems can be avoided by not updating to the very latest version of Windows 10 right away you don't need to go out and update your version of Windows 10 uh, before its official release date and certainly not right away you can wait a few months because your previous version of Windows 10 will still receive support and updates for quite a while after so don't worry about updating right away you can see the amount of problems and fixes and improvements that have been addressed here on this little update that they've done so it just goes to show you uh, what's actually going on behind the scenes now what you can do is check this document on a regular basis and it will tell you the known issues when the support ends for the previous version of Windows that you have maybe you're running 1909 and things like that you can check all that out on this document which is the Microsoft uh, support document which you will be able to get in the link in the video description now unfortunately there is still some problems that haven't been resolved which is the uh, defragging problem where it keeps uh, defragging your drive throughout the day and of course by doing this it's going to reduce the lifespan of your SSD now you're going to get other tech youtubers on the internet telling you that this is not a problem and not to worry about it personally if there wasn't a problem with it then why do we not defrag SSDs we shouldn't be defragging an SSD uh, throughout the day and you know continuously every day that will build up and will cause problems for your SSD so my personal opinion is to disable uh, that feature altogether until they resolve this problem resolved issues in Windows 10 version 2004 Windows Server and version 2004 you can see here these are some of the resolved issues I don't see it listed here as being resolved and I checked it today and I'm still having a few issues where it keeps wanting to uh, defrag my SSD I've actually disabled it altogether and I'll quickly show you how to do that in this video now like I said you can avoid a lot of these errors by just delaying and holding off updating your Windows 10 to the latest version right away and especially some people on the internet will even do it 
early before it's even officially released and tell people to go ahead and do that and that's just stupid it really is don't do things like that and don't follow people that tell you to do things like that because it's just going to cause you problems now i do think it's pretty irresponsible for people to tell people to do something especially when you've got quite a big influence on the internet and uh, telling people to do things that you're not going to support yourself especially when you're just going to basically hold your hands up and say it's not my problem you know that's exactly the attitude of some people so if you do want to uh, disable the defrag for your ssd just open up this pc right click on your ssd drive and go to properties then go to tools and you will see optimize here and this will show you needs optimization it doesn't and uh, basically what it's going to do is it'll do this a bunch of times every single day i've already made a video showing you in event uh, viewer where this lists up and uh, basically uh, what's going to happen here you're going to see that i've completely disabled it if you go into this option here you'll see i've unticked the c drive so it doesn't actually do anything with the c drive it won't try to do that on that drive and that's the best way to deal with that problem until they release a fix now running the trim command on uh, an ssd is not a problem but when it starts to try to defrag the drive and continually uh, attempting to defrag an ssd throughout the day that's not a good thing and uh, it will shorten the lifespan of your drive and the term solid state means it is a solid state it doesn't have any moving parts in it so it doesn't need to be defragged in that way uh, you know um, the update is now come down and i need to restart the pc and uh, that update will be in place and it will fix a lot of problems i get a question all the time is when is the right time to update to the latest version of windows 10 well that choice has to be your own and you will have to make that choice yourself um, when it's time is right for you personally i think holding off a few months a couple of months two or three months is not going to be a problem but you're not going to be hacked or be vulnerable to the elements or anything like that you're still going to receive security updates and things like that so don't worry about things like that that's just fear mongering and scaremongering from people on the internet now windows 10 has a turbulent update track record which means it's been a bit hit and miss for some people and you may get the odd person that's had no problems whatsoever but they might not be doing the same sort of things you're doing on your computer and the problem is when you do have problems it can be quite disruptive to uh, your daily workflow when you're trying to do things and you're getting problems with windows most people just want a stable version of windows 10 and when they do get that they have just reluctant to update right away and i can see where they're coming from so it's all going to be down to you yourself whether you want to run the gauntlet and update right away and hopefully you don't have any problems but you know with windows 10's track record it's had problems with every update release use your own initiative check that website for uh, information on known issues and whether they've been resolved and if they have then maybe roll out the update in your own time anyway I can talk about this topic all day long, but I've got things to do. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.